What's up everyone, this is Kevin, your personal finance tutor, and in this simple tutorial, I'm going to show you guys on how to transfer your retirement accounts from, say, Vanguard or Charles Schwab into Webull. It's super easy, and you can get set up in just a couple minutes. So, let's get started. So, for this tutorial, it doesn't matter whether you have an IRA or 401k, I'll show you guys how to transfer it from an outside account into your Webull account. Like I said, it's super easy. And some questions I know I'm going to get is why would I want to transfer my retirement account with Vanguard, for example, that is really well known, been in the industry for years now, has billions of dollars under assets into Webull, which isn't that well known. Well, for me, the biggest reason is Vanguard is still charging uh, transaction fees. So every time I make a trade, I'm going to get hit with a charge. Like, for example, I just bought some Macy stock for the dividend and I got charged about $10 or so to make the stock trade so it does add up over time especially when you're only talking about hundreds or thousands of dollars it actually does take a good amount of your return back another big question I know I'm gonna get is why not deposit your retirement account into Robinhood for example it's a pretty well-known app especially here in the US well the biggest reason Robinhood actually sadly does not support retirement accounts so no IRA no 401k right now where Webull does and the last reason is the Webull app it's actually really smooth to use really convenient while for example the Vanguard app is really laggy there's not much fun functions you can do on there and you still have to go to your desktop in order to make trades so that's a really big downfall where here on the Webull app I can easily make a trade for either a couple stocks or a bigger one and it doesn't cost me anything it's convenient I can pull it out on my phone whenever and that's the reason why I'm going to Webull if you guys haven't already I would definitely recommend signing up for the Webull app worst case scenario you sign up and you get a stock for free if you use my link down below and then if you deposit another $100, you're going to get a second stock. And the stocks tend to be anywhere from about $8, and it could be all the way up to uh, $1,500. So you can actually make some decent amount of money just for signing up. And there's always a bunch of sign-up bonuses going on and referral bonuses. For example, right now, if you do sign up uh, and transfer uh, anywhere from a couple hundred dollars to a couple thousand, you get a different uh sign up bonuses. So for me, for example, I'll be taking my Roth IRA from Vanguard for about $3,200, depositing it into the Webull app, and I'll get about $30 on top of all those extra stock bonuses that I got. So if you guys don't want to miss out on those, check out the link down below. But anyways, let's jump right into this video. All right, so here we're just going to open up the, the Webull app. They're right here. Now you can see I did sign up account, and I have just an individual account no uh, retirement accounts at all here. Click on the middle button. You see it tells me to open up an IRA today. Just refreshing it. And then also here's the deposit bonuses that I was talking about. So like I said, in my case, it'll be $3,200 I'm taking from Vanguard. So I will get a $30 sign up bonus. So that is pretty quick, easy money that you can make right there. All right, now I'm gonna go out of that and go into my Vanguard account right here. So it's going to refresh it up the top. Now I did say we're transferring over 3200 but it is showing 1500 And that's because I also have a 401k for my employer in my Vanguard account. So right here, you can see the actual IRA account right here. And we do have some stock and cash. So this is going to actually transfer all that all at once. And the cool thing about this is I know Vanguard doesn't charge a fee. And there's uh, some good amount of other service providers out there that don't charge fees, but if they happen to charge a fee, Webull is actually going to reimburse you uh, up to $100. It's another promotion going on right now. So like I said, they got tons of promotions. So if you're not signed up for it, you re really are missing out. Okay, now we're going to go back into the Webull app and get started with transferring our retirement account. So you can see right here that all I have right now is an individual investment account. It is saying open an IRA account today. You just click on that and click on open an IRA. Then from here, it's really simple. It literally only takes a minute. It already has my information filled out because I have an account open with Webull for uh, just a normal taxable investment account. It's gonna ask you some investments at uh, financial information, how good of experiences do you have, um, see how much uh, yearly income, what's your net worth. So really simple questions. Uh, it takes about a minute to fill it out. And then after that, you wanna click on what type of IRA IRA that you want. So after you click next, you're going to have three different options for your IRA, traditional, Roth, and a rollover. So traditional is taking money right from your paycheck. Uh, it's not taxed at all and it's going into the IRA. 
and then from there you're going to pay taxes after when you're in retirement and you're taking out the money. Roth is it's going to have uh, after your taxes money so after you pay the government its fair share then you can use that to put it into your Roth IRA and then you have the rollover for IRA which is basically just taking your 401k and then rolling it over into a Roth. Uh, if you guys would like to see a further breakdown with a lot more examples and a lot more details of what's the differences between traditional and Roth IRA and then why would you want to have one over the other, what's the advantages, disadvantages, I could also make a video on that. Just leave some comments down below. But for me, since I do have a Roth IRA in my Vanguard account, I'm going to select Roth IRA and just want to open that up. And then what we're doing right now is we're opening creating an account in our Weeble app so then we can transfer it from the Vanguard into the Weeble and you want to make sure that they are the same one. So if you have say traditional in your Vanguard account, you want to you're going to want to open up a traditional in your Weeble account. And then after that, just click comp uh, complete. And it says it takes about a day or two to actually uh, get it approved. But I found out in my situation, it literally only took 25 minutes. I got a little notification saying that it was approved and within yeah, 25 minutes, I had my Roth IRA showing in my Webull account. Of course, there was no balance, but then this is where we actually have to start the transfer process. Okay, now that we first have the Webull app open, and secondly, have our retirement account open in the Webull app as well, we can actually begin the transfer. So it's very easy. You just want to click on your Roth IRA, uh, and then just some like tips to show up real fast, just saying that it's going to take about 37 business days the transfer it's going to click transfer stocks to Weeble and then you're going to want to sign into whatever you have so whether it's Scott Trade, Vanguard, wherever your event, uh, retirement account is located so you want to sign in with your information click uh, what type of account you want to transfer so in my example it's going to be a Roth IRA you could transfer just the stocks or just the cash or in my situation I did both because I want to take everything out of the Vanguard and put it into the Weeble app and then you just put your account number, which you could get from signing into wherever your current retirement account is. Once you put your name in and you have all four of those information, all you do is click transfer. Like I said, the application uh, process takes about five, seven business days. And we have the transfer stock confirmation page right here. If you want for any time, you can cancel this. And then that's it. All right, to get up to this point, it probably only takes about 10 to 15 minutes or so to put in your personal information and just kind of open up those two accounts on Weeble. Now from here, it's just a waiting game. And we're back. So it's actually been seven full days, aka five business days, since the first half of the video. And we got an email right here from Weeble just saying that we could get reimbursed for a transfer if we did happen to get charged one. And like I said before, Vanguard actually does not charge. So I don't have to worry about going through this process, but Weeble is kind enough to actually reimburse that along with a bunch of their other sign-up bonuses. So we're actually going to go into the Weeble app right here. I'm going to show you guys that the funds did transfer. So we're just going to click on the middle button right here, and it's going to bring us up to our accounts. So right here we have the individual account, which isn't showing anything, and then we have the Roth IRA, which has transferred all of our stock, the 76 Macy stock and then all of our cash, cash position as well, all $2,000, a little bit more of it. So that's pretty exciting, that happened. So the whole process took about seven full days to transfer five business days, like I said. Uh, the whole process on Weeble was really fast, really easy to sign up, it only takes a couple minutes, just put in your personal information, and then another couple minutes to set up your retirement account. And then you're just playing the win game while it's actually transferring from one institution uh, to the Weeble account. And the whole process, like I said, super easy. Really glad I did it. Now I can make trades whenever I want without any commission. And overall, I'm actually a really big fan of the Weeble app. So like I said before, if you haven't signed up, make sure you click the referral link down below in the description box. Well, that's it for the tutorial. If this video did help you out, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more content. If you got lost throughout anywhere throughout the process, leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to respond to help you out. And if you guys have any video suggestions, I would like to hear those down below as well. You're not going to want to miss out on any future videos. I got some really fun, exciting ideas coming for future videos, such as I currently live in a house hack three unit property here in Chicago. So there's a little house tour going through renovations. And I got tons of more personal finance videos that I want to help you guys with. So make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Kevin signing off. Peace.